Alright guys. Um Night Song has actually grabbed some territory while I haven't been looking. I think I not. I think I didn't think he no, he didn't have these two before, did he? No. Either way, now that he's out of his war with them, and I've sent him a gift, he will in fact bend the knee. So that's them joining me. Which brings that whole fucking area into the fold. Which almost brings the entirety of every bit of land that is, technically speaking, ours into it. The only region that we don't have is these little bits here that my banners are constantly trying to take by themselves. So, yeah. Yep, the bits we need to take are just keep... I'll probably just let them do it themselves, to be honest. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm probably going to give them the East March back. They've earned it. And he's quite friendly with me anyway. Uh, what I'll do is get a Guardian. And set him to my kid. So, there you go. The heir to that is and then being tutored by my... Uh, by them. Is the fucking... Is, you're supposed to be getting tutored by... Alright, because you're of age. Uh, is there any other kings that need tutoring? Not particularly. The interesting thing about that is I can actually uh, like be guardian of the kids that are of any age. It doesn't matter what age they are. But yeah, we'll give East March to those guys and then uh, that will secure... Well, it won't secure much, but it will provide a big power on the East that's not Windwater. <clears throat> that's not the uh, Windwater case. Okay, that's each, uh, East March for you. A bit of an ugly border to it, but it's basically the Eastern Frontier of the Kingdom. Which is fine. They are very powerful. Someone remind me to uh, to marry them into the family quite uh, fairly often because th that's the thing. Basically, these two people. It's the the water princes of the Wendwater, and the guys of East March are basically going to be constantly like married into the family and kept happy. They need to be kept happy constantly because they are like the front lines of the kingdom here. They're the guys that are going to be constantly pushing out. More or less. I mean, the most tar for anyone's doing is attacking the fucking stepstones. But yep, that brings them into the fold at least, and we are like we have already sort of started pushing into the reach, which is cool. Surprisingly, still allied with the reach throughout all of this. Totally speaking. Yeah, <laughs> just like s slowly taking more and more of the Reach's territory, and uh, they're still all allied with me though. <laughs> it's it's fine, it's fine. They're still allied with me. And the Veil's slowly actually taking more outside of the Veil, which is cool. Oh, the King Rivers and Hills have pushed up in the neck as well, and the Starks are slowly taking the rest of the North. Alright, well, we will basically probably chill until uh, King Roderick passes away, and then we play as Prince Christopher and go from there. My brothers are fucking morons. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just sitting in the Stormlands, just, like, building up crap and watching my fucking banners sort of carve out kingdoms for themselves. Uh, they're getting, like, more and more powerful as I 
pay no attention to what they're doing. But, um, I'm sitting here building shit. Start upgrading. I basically spent all my prestige upgrading into a fortress. Just slowly making myself more and more powerful. In, in theory. More or less is what I'm doing. But, um, yeah. Doing that, basically. And one of my brothers fucked off before I tried to do it. And this brother has fucked off, uh... They're also members of the uh, the secret society for the Lady of the Waves, by the way. As is my uh, my son as well, and his kid. <laughs> They're all part of a fucking secret society, rather than the old gods. Okay, but yeah, this one, uh, my brother Devon the Mighty, fucked off north and tried to take Winterfell for getting him returned for the low low price of ten gold, which isn't too bad. So yeah, there's uh, there's that. Anyway, back to uh, back to building up Storm's End, I suppose. Well, that was easy. Um, <laughs> I found this guy because I just realized that there's actually a higher tier to the warrior trait. This one's legendary warrior. It's plus 10 rather than plus 8. And I just sent Baron to uh, tutor under this guy, since who's just up here in this guy's court. Which is glad to take hostage, fine. The second he's tutored by him, Legendary Warrior. So, now I'm just gonna... Get him back to be tutored by my guys. <laughs> oh, I'll just take him back now. Thank you very much. There you go. That was like the easiest fucking training of every ca any character I've ever fucking done. Fair enough. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. My banners have sort of expanded a little. They've done a couple of holy wars and pushed out the place, but... Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. The uh, the guys that controlled these two regions died, and then they I inherited those, so that helps. I've essentially, for the last generation or so, I'm pretty sure we left off on Tristopher. Tristopher the True, who was named. But he died, natural death, not too long ago. Samuel, we smothered with the pillow, as I recall. And then uh, Baron has taken over. They've named him Baron the Builder. Primarily because for the last, like, the end of Tristopher's reign and throughout the entirety of Baron's reign, I have literally just been sitting inside of Storm's End, slowly spending all my money building shit. Because I'm making, like, 14, almost 15 monthly. So I'm getting, you know, a decent amount of fucking money. And that's without a good, uh, without a good master of coin and without collecting taxes. I did have a decent one, but uh, he died. But yeah. King Baron is currently in charge. Uh, he's the builder because he's just been basically consolidating his uh, personal levies, which is now quite impressive. Uh, he has the eldest daughter, who is the Queen of the Reach. My other daughter, uh, Lyanna, who is betrothed to the King of Rivers, uh, Prince of Rivers and Hills. My daughter, Eleanor, is married to John Connington, who's the King of... Uh, Macy's Hook and, Dr and Dragonstone area. And we've got Prince Beric, who's betrothed to a gardener girl with a genius trait. He has two daughters, a son, Robert, who's inherited genius from his mother, which is quite nice. He's got Legendary Warrior. It's uh, quite easy to get Legendary Warrior once you have a Legendary Warrior to train your kids. I haven't married Lysa off yet, unfortunately. Dala is betrothed to the heir to the Kingdom of Wendwater, so that keeps them happy. Or it gives them a claim to use against me later. And Prince Doran is married to an Aran girl. Currently, we're still in a secret, secretly following the Lady of the Waves. I don't think Beric is. Yeah, Beric isn't, thankfully. But yeah. Its influence is quite good. I, was, I don't know how the secret society stuff works, or whether or not if you get like powerful enough, you can like take over, do like a rebellion to overthrow everything. I don't know. I was somewhat tempted to keep with them, but I'm going to try and separate myself from the uh, from the Lady of the Waves and go back to our original thing. If it was like the Storm God or something, then I'd just totally fucking go with that. I'd I'd very easily just yep yep we're we're sticking with the Storm God. That's what we're going with. The Storm God will be our new secret faith, and then bring the Storm God to the Stormlands, that kind of thing. But with the Lady of the Waves, I'm like, eh, not, not worth it. Anyway, we are basically going to stop building shit for a while. And I thought, fuck it, 
King, uh, King Baron may as well expand his territory a little. So, we've got a few options. We could go for West March, which I'm pretty sure Corrin is already attacking, actually. He's losing it, but, um... Yeah, War for the West March, which is that. He's losing it, and he's getting his ass kicked. But that's that for now. We could push into... He actually has the Tower of Joy, believe it or not. Yeah, we could push into Dawn, but Dawn is like, like the most biggest fucking pain in the ass to attack, like, ever. So I'm kind of going to stay away from Dawn for a bit, I think. I'm not interested. If my Bannermen want to push into Dawn themselves, they can, like they've been doing for the Reach and around here, but I am bothered. We could go for the Stepstones, but that requires a lot of ships. I think we're going to stick, historically, and push up into the Trident, because at one point, at the, at the height of the Storm King's powers... They controlled the Stormlands, the Crownlands, and the Riverlands. So we are going to start pushing up here. More or less pushing up against the Faith of the Seven factions. Starting with the Blackwater, which is... We can get that. Uh, yeah. Blackwater Shore is like one thing. As far as I can't usurp that, to be honest. Alright, I already have you. I already, yeah, yeah. He, he's already the High Lordship of Blackwater, sure. Blackwater Bay. Hmm. And that's, uh, that's one thing there. We want... That's Rosbury. Yeah, we want Southern Blackwater, I imagine. Grab that territory like that. And then push up. I might even ignore the crown lands to be honest. Just secure the lower half of that. And then push up into the trident from there. But for now at least we'll go for grabbing South Blackwater Bay. And we have a few allies. Like we would. What's the political situation there? Political concerns. He's not going to accept that. Former alliance. Political concerns. Oh, shit, that was fucking expensive. I did not pay attention to that at all. Yep, well, that's a waste of money. Damn it. Oh, well. We're making money fairly quickly, so it's not too bad. I get 10,000 just from that fucking uh, board ship there. Ah, you've put yourselves on ships. Why have you done that? These guys putting their capital on a fucking rock. That's irritating. Uh, put you guys on ships like that. Land you at Storm's End. We're only going to use my actual levies. Because using the other guys is a bit fucking stupid. I'd rather have the 22, almost 30k of my personal levy in reserve. charge of there. My hand of the king in charge of that. Uh, Beric already has an heir, so I'm not too bothered about him tagging along. Uh, we need to get the other 10k off these guys. Can they not take ship in that? Alright, now they There you go. Now they can. We'll just disband these chaps. Uh, these guys I'm just going to sell up to by seed, to be honest. Yeah, this lost like 3,000 men because of a tiny bit of attrition there. Take that, Quinton will take that, you take that. Yeah, you 
You guys will go around there. Disband those ships. And these guys are already sailing around. These guys are good. They're not even, uh, they're like hiding behind the rivers. Smart, stupid, stupid, annoying people. Anyway, we'll sail immediately in here, land at their capital for us. Can we actually cross across that? Yeah, we can. There's a land bridge right there. Right Alright, well, we've cut off their army from being able to reach their capital, which is fine. Meredith, my granddaughter. What was that? The great step of yeah, the great step of Baylor on that side of the for some reason. Where did I lose a battle? Ah, up there. West March has joined. That's fine. Whatever. Really couldn't care less. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to win through taking these regions. Twenty two K are gonna go chase down Southwise. Actually we've already won. <coughs> Never mind. Alright, fair enough. May as well end it. No point dragging it out. He loses virtue, I get authority. And I take all his stuff. Usurp to shit. Please go across today. Thank you. All right. Let it not be known that. Why have we gone down from forty-four? Probably because they hate me because I've had the shit rallied. Stupid freaking picky bastards. Yeah, but it'll not be alone that Baron didn't do anything. He did seize land up here. Alright, well, what I'm probably going to need to do, because they're going to all be a bit pissy with me now that I've got all that extra land, and I can't hold that much shit. Like, all of that I now control. It needs to be given to somebody. The question is, who do I give it to? I definitely do not want to give it to Wendwater. <laughs> This guy, uh, like, holds way too much territory already. What's the... 
High Lordship of that, yeah. Yeah, the High Lordship of that is just that, exactly that. So, who do we give this to? I have my uncles, actually. Yeah, Devon the Mighty. And then he's got kids. Yeah. He's going to die pretty soon, but we give it to Devon the Mighty. High Lordship of Self thingy. There you go. Devon the Mighty gets that. I mean, he's got kids. He's got an heir, yeah. Hey, there you go. And I can marry my daughter to him, who will be the future. There you go. That's, that solves uh, the question of who I was going to marry Lysa to. So, there you go. He'll uh, eventually inherit... Inherit the High Lordship of the South Blackwater. And I'll probably end up giving that branch of the family the uh, whole kingdom thing. Alright. What are we looking at now? Uh, I've got to assign somebody to look after these kids as well. Yeah, give you that. Do, 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 do. I can't declare war with you because you know I'd have a reason to. Annoyingly, like I said, I can at I could attack West March, but there's no real reason to right now. I can't attack Tumbleton, annoyingly, and they won't bend the knee. I've tried bribing them a few times. I can't attack these guys again, and they will never accept bending the knee. I could attack these guys for a holy war for that, but it's sort of meh right now, to be honest. Honestly, it's a, it's a lot of... Uh, I kind of want to like consolidate my forces a little... The whole, like, northern area, all of this is a bit of a mess, to be honest. And really what I'm thinking of doing is, uh... If Beric inherits his mother's strong claim on the Reach, then I could attack the Reach. If I didn't have the current non-aggression pact, I could attack the Reach. Which might be what Beric ends up doing. Because he's also married to a gardener, but not a direct to the descendants of the gardeners. So, I will probably lose... Yeah, she's married to my daughter, maybe my aunt. She'll probably die somewhat soon. We'll probably end up attacking the Reach at some point and claiming that through the Gardener blood that we share. At which point it will be a matter of... Uh, I don't know. If we take the Reach, I honestly might just turn around south and think, fuck it, let's just secure the whole of the south first before pushing up north. We leave the north alone. Like, south of the Blackwater, we just stop the northern border where it is. And then we focus on Dawn and picking off all of this. And maybe the Stepstones and shit. And we just make the Kingdom of the South. And then eventually, you know, push up later on. And slowly but surely make everyone bend the knee from there. That might be the way to go. For now at least. Uh, I'm probably just going to keep spending money. I've already made all that money back that I... Uh, that money that I foolishly spent on the bribing the king, I've already made back for just that war. I make money fairly fucking quickly, to be honest. I am saving for that, to try and upgrade to a Citadel. Which I need a fair few more prestige for, like 1,700 or something? I don't know, more? For now, at least, I think we'll just call it... Uh, there's not really much else to do. I can't push on Black Evermore. Like I said, I want that bit of land there. I kind of want to mop up the rest of these southern things. Just to clean up this bit. But then I don't want to push into the Riverlands just yet. And when the Reach is... As far as the Reach is concerned, it'll just be a lot easier just to claim... To claim the Reach outright. Kind of thing. Hmm. Right, anyway, we'll skip forward a little. See what happens. Check out the links in the bottom left. Videos in the top right. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, share, all that bollocks. And don't forget to click that stupid little bell thing that notifies you of all my crap. Alternatively, follow me on Twitter or Discord, where I'll post whenever a video is uploaded. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.